I just came across a brand new AI chatbot and this one could do something I've never seen any other chatbot do. And I'm not affiliated, this is not a sponsored video, but I think you're gonna find this really useful here. This chatbot is called Not Diamond. You could use it at chat.notdiamond.ai. And as I'm recording this, it's completely free to use. It has no limitations. I'm sure they're gonna add it at some point, but let me show you exactly what it does. So this has access to all the top AI models in one place. And there are other apps that do this too. That's not the unique part of it. So you're gonna make sure all these are checked on. They are by default. So you're gonna get access to all the Claude models. You're gonna get access to all the GPT models, Llama models, even perplexity is included here. So then what I do is I would just use it just like any other chatbot. I'm gonna type in my prompt. I'm gonna try this prompt. Can you draft a reply for this email? Keep it friendly and casual. I'm gonna paste this email here. And I'm going to go ahead and send this out. And this is the unique part of this chatbot. So it's going to give you a response. But if you look on the bottom here, it picked Claude 3.5 Sonnet here. And he made that decision on its own. And the reason why he did that is because he thinks for the specific task of replying to an email, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the best model, which I agree with. So depending on your prompt, it's going to choose in the background the best model available to answer you. And again, all of it is available here. So all the best models it has access to. Now my workflow right now is jumping between different chatbots. Yours might be the same, right? So some things related to writing, a lot of times I use Claude. Sometimes when it comes to summarizing existing text, I like ChatGPT more. Let's try another one. What's in the news today? So this one, a lot of the models are not gonna have internet access to be able to answer that. And if you look on the bottom, it shows perplexity. Again, if I was doing that search myself, I would probably open up a new web page, go to perplexity, run that prompt, right? I'm not gonna probably use ChatGPT or Claude for that. Now, let me go to a website. I'm just gonna copy this entire website. I'm gonna ask for a short summary here, paste everything in that blog post, send that out. And again, this time it chose Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So sometimes I personally use ChatGPT to do this task, but it looks like this is the model it chose. And if you disagree with his choice, well, you just click right here and it has all these other models you could choose from. So if I wanted to use ChatGPT, I'm gonna get the answer here out of GPT 4.0, right? So I could just switch between them. And one more really cool thing I found is if you give it a thumbs up, Every time, let's say that's my preference, that for summaries, I always want to use GPT-40. If I give it a thumbs up, this is going to remember that every time I ask for a summary to use this model moving forward and not use Claude. If I give it a thumbs down, it's going to try a different model. One more really interesting thing it has under the settings, it has arena mode. So if you turn this on, I'm going to give it another prompt here. I'm going to ask it for marketing methods for small businesses. This is the battle mode where you're going to get one on the right side, one on the left side. And if I go to the bottom of it, you're not going to know which model it is. So you're going to need to give it a score here, which one is good, which one is bad. So I'm going to choose this one here on the right. And then when I choose it, it's going to tell me which model won between these two models. So this was Claude 3 Haiku versus GPT-40. Now, if you also look on the bottom, it's going to show you speed. And it's also going to show you a cost. As I mentioned, right now, this is totally free. There's no way to even pay for it. And I'm really not sure how they're doing that. But the cost is if you're a developer, I believe they offer an API for developers here. So it's showing you the cost so you could understand how these models compare in cost. And let me see if it's any good at analyzing documents because you can upload documents to it. I'm going to say, give me a short summary. And yep, this was related to my last video related to Claude Artifact. It spelled Claude wrong because my transcription also had that spelled incorrectly. But now it knows to use GPT-4 every time I ask for a summary, which is my personal preference. And this is also very useful right here. It has something called custom system prompts. If you turn this on, it lets you give it a system prompt. And what a system prompt lets you do is it lets you give a set of instructions at the account level. So you don't have to do that inside of every individual prompt. So I've built something, it's a custom GPT that's available for free inside of ChatGPT. And this one creates the custom instructions for you. So all you have to do is type in something very simple. And mine is just gonna be always replying in a casual and friendly tone like you're talking to a friend. And if I send this out, this generates something much more in depth as far as a custom instruction goes. So you're an AI model designed to respond in casual tone. 
like you're chatting with a friend. It should be warm, approachable, engaging. So I could just copy this over and then go back to this app and then type that out. And this is my casual tone. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that as my system prompt. And now all I have to do is pick this casual tone. I could make multiple different system prompts here. And then it's gonna take care of it in the background for us. Every time we start a new chat, it knows to use that prompt in the background and you don't have to include it in every single prompt now. Now, if you're like me and you're using a bunch of different AI chatbots, I'm going to perplexity for research. I'm going to chat GPT for summaries. I'm going to Claude for writing emails and things like that. Well, this just took care of all of that for us in the same chat, right? And he has access to all the top models. It's not even excluding Gemini is there, Llama is there. So it's really strange that this is free right now. So I wouldn't cancel any of my subscriptions just yet, but really interesting tool that does something that other chatbots just can't do because they're just made by that one specific company typically and they're not going to be able to make that selection in the background for us there are other platforms where you could choose between chatbots but you have to manually choose that this has been making really good decisions in the background in a couple hours i mean testing and i'm not canceling anything but give it a try let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll catch you on the next video